internet friends. Welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the internet lifestyle show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, Internet friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe. Turn up your sounds so you can hear what we're saying. Can you hear us? <laughs> I've got another friend online. He's a relationship coach. His name is Reggie. Mr. Reggie, you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How are you doing, Brad? Doing good. Now, you were both in the central time zone. That's unusual sometimes. I'm either talking to people in New York or California. It's nice to be in the CST. Right? <laughs> right. Represent. <laughs> you, are you, you're in Milwaukee, right? Yes, sir. I've been through there. I've never really stayed long, but I've driven through, that's for sure. You ever been to Minneapolis? I'm sorry? You ever been to Minneapolis? Have, Minneapolis. I have, I, have, I have Mall of America. Oh, okay. There you go. You've seen one, you've seen them all. <laughs> the Mall of America. Yes, sir. So I, I do these interviews kind of fast, and then what happens is I put an intro and outro on them, then I beam them up to YouTube and then propagate them out on the Internet. So uh, we don't want to take too much uh, people's time until they get to know who you are. So let's find that out. You, you married? You got kids yourself? Or what's up on that end? Okay. Uh, no, I'm currently not married. Uh, don't have children either. Um, I'm actually from Chicago and moved to Wisconsin when I was young, very young. And that's actually where I got started doing the relationship counseling. Um, without getting too deep or I guess, uh, I guess <laughs> cry or nothing like that. Right. Um, when I was 14, I got real depressed and real down and out where, um, I was actually in a suicidal situation where I was trying to kill myself and my mom stopped me. Um, and it was due to just girls not liking me. I just felt that, uh, something was wrong with me because all my friends had girls like them. And from that point on, it just made me interested in figuring out, the relationship aspect. How do you get people to like you? How do you maintain it? How do you sustain it? What do you do from there? And that's really where my interest came and that's why I took it from there. Okay, I, I totally get it because um, it can be a big relation. I didn't get married till I was 53. Oh, and really? Part of the that's reason funny. was I didn't like asking women out because they say no sometimes. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, not that I'm a pussy or anything, but what's the mm -hmm. point of asking them? So, I just redesigned my whole life and I just did business kind of stuff and, and did what I wanted to do. And then when I saw somebody that I was attracted to, I didn't go and ask her out and stuff. Well, I did, but I did. I wasn't, I wasn't desperate. I think mm -hmm. the universe just kind of pulled her to me and then it worked. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I think a lot of yeah, people, they, they make a mistake of um, going from their head what they want and uh, they're talking to the opposite sex or the significant other from a different point of view. You got a call there? No. Nah. Oh, I thought maybe you had a client calling. <laughs> no, nah, nah, I'll, I'll tip them to my voicemail. They'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> got it, got it. No, I like to do these interviews. Uh, it is the way it is. It's authentic and genuine. That's why I do them on video like this. So real stuff mm -hmm. happens. So how long have you been doing the coaching thing? Um, I've got into it seriously where it became a profession about two years now. Um, as I said, from four, yeah, about three years. Um, as I said, when I was, since I was 14 on out, I've been reading, studying, questioning, going everywhere in regards to the whys and the how tos and things like that. But I've actually turned it into a profession three years ago. You know, sometimes people will say, well, who are you to be a relationship coach if you're not married? But the reality is, is the reason is you understand how to take a look back and be able to see something from a distant picture and maybe see the things that he's doing that he shouldn't be doing and the things that she's doing that she shouldn't be doing and communicate to them so they can kind of go, oh, I never thought about it that way. So that's kind of the, the, the advantage of having a third party involved. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I get asked that question all the time, Brad. And I always tell people a marriage is based on two individuals. Usually the problem comes from one of the individual's perspective or point of view, usually. And so if, as an individual, I'm not helping, quote unquote, what we would call the marriage. I'm helping the individual understand another individual's perspective. Yeah. Right. And so that's marriage in a nutshell. You're a translator. 
Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> in so many ways. In so many ways. Mm-hmm. I, I totally get it because, um, you know, the the men, when they're thinking, they compartmentalize stuff. Mm-hmm. And women are kind of like all over the place and more of an analog mm-hmm. type thing. And so is everything all right, honey? Oh, yeah, just fine. Yeah, no, it ain't. There's something wrong. No, something's going on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but you can never figure it exactly. out. So it's, yeah. it's good to have a third party like that doing that. Mm-hmm. I totally get it. Oh, let's see, I want to ask another question. How do, how do you do your your uh, program? Do you have to be there in person, or can you do it remote like this? Can you get three people on a Skype, or what? Um, what happens is, honestly, um, many of my clients have been uh, in various parts of the world, um, from Ireland to Canada to London um, to Kenya. So um, sometimes we are actually um, doing video chat and speaking. Um, if it's a married couple, what I like to do is um, talk to them individually first, as opposed to together, because there's some things that one would tell me when the other's not around that yeah. they wouldn't say if the other was there. So oftentimes I speak with them separately before I bring them together. Um, and there are times where we're over the phone. And of course, um, I have an office, so there are times where people come in and actually speak with me and sit down. So it just depends on where they are in the world and um, what they feel more comfortable with, because it's such a confidential um, part of the industry where it's so confidential, where uh, some people just prefer that we speak over the phone, which I'm totally cool with. I'm mm-hmm. okay with. My goal is just to help you solve whatever you think you need to be solved well you know say for example somebody out there saw this and they go you know what i like this reggie guy Mm -hmm. um how would they get a hold of you then because that's what it takes it takes like this kind of communication so people get to know who the heck you are and they thought i wonder maybe right um there's several ways um you can find me on um facebook and under reggie walton actually reggie walton you can find me there and simply send an inbox message and we can talk you can call me um, 414-467-7745 or simply send me an email at T-H-E-R-E-G-G-I-E-R-E-G at gmail.com. That was a lot of stuff. <laughs> yes, sir. So is there, is, what, is there a specific website or anything or is it mostly Facebook? Um, first of all, I do have a website at MrReggie.com. Mr. Reggie, is that R-E-G-G-I-E? Yes, sir. And you Got spell it. out Mr. So it's M I S T E R Reggie.com. That's easy to remember. Mr. Reggie. Right. Mm-hmm. Done deal. Yeah. Okay, here's my favorite question. That's the big why question. And you kind of explained it already, but okay. it's it's why. Why are you doing this? Why aren't you like a professional boxer or why aren't you like uh, uh, own a nightclub or why aren't you like a surf mm. instructor or something? Why are you right. doing this? And you kind of explained it because it hit you early on in your life, but uh, mm-hmm. why are you still doing it? Right. I think um, I, I've always asked the question. I think we always ask the question, why am I here? Like, what, what is my yeah. purpose, quote, unquote, my call and things like that. And um, being somebody who believes in spirituality and a, a higher being, um, our creator, and I feel like I have a purpose and a calling, and I stuck to relationships, and I believe I stuck to it because I believe personally that um, many households, especially in the Western side of the world, um, value money over family. They we don't value marriage like we used to. It, it, it appears we just we just don't value or believe in it. So many people want love, but they fear it, and. For me, in order for there to be community, in order for there to be unity, togetherness, and this utopia that everybody wants and thinks of, there must be family. Men and women must get along outside of the bedroom. There must be some form of companionship, fellowship, relationship in order for things to work because there will be children. And if you're dysfunctional and if you only give them one side, then they're going to grow up that way. I mean, we are um, all products of our upbringing in some shape, form, or fashion. And if you know, like I know, breaking a habit is no easy task. The right. older you get, it gets more difficult. So if you can catch them young, it's best to have a healthy family, both male and female together, to raise the children because the children will more than likely grow up to be the same. And that starts with family. That starts with family, whether it comes to who your mate will be, what kind of mate you will want, um, 
you know, if marriage is a thing, if you believe in it or not. And so for me, family is such a huge aspect to community and to just a, a better world that I believe that um, making it a priority, making it a value as it once was, um, is just a task of mine. And that's my calling. Well, it's good to know that I asked, I do a lot of these interviews and I asked that big why question. And that's what a lot of people do is they say it's about connecting people back together. So I appreciate you uh, doing your calling and uh, spending some time on Synergy Cafe. I'm going to sign this one off, but if you want, we can hang on and chat a little bit later. Okay. So, yeah, absolutely. Mr. Reggie, I appreciate you taking the time today to be on Synergy Cafe. Thank you Thank very you. much. Peace. Take care, Brad.